I'm your new Nebraska News Network Washington Bureau Chief Jacqueline Paul Castro. I'm usually working here inside the U.S. Capitol, but this week I'm on assignment. Across the globe in Brisbane, Australia, where world leaders are meeting for the G20 summit. They're talking about the economic issues that have a big impact on your life in Nebraska. So be sure to watch my reports all this week only on Nebraska News Network. While the summit was as international as it gets, the president spoke most about something that's local and very close to home. We're here at the University of Queensland where students and Australian VIPs have been waiting for the chance to see President Obama speak. Getting here was definitely a challenge and we're going to give you an inside look. This might sound like just another big meeting with world leaders, but it's a lot more than that. What happens here hits close to home when it comes to our economy and jobs. Every American has a stake in the success of the G20 summit. We all know U.S. products are shipped around the globe, but it's summits like the G20 that determine whether or not our local businesses, manufacturers, and farms have the opportunity to expand their reach and trade on a level playing field. Local manufacturers tell us they're looking to world leaders meeting here at the G20 summit to pave the way for growth. This year's G20 brings a great challenge as increasing parts of the world face unstable geopolitical situations. But as you'll see, that challenge isn't stopping our local manufacturers. They're trying to implement a lot of rules and regulations that's going to put our miners out of a job. Uh, it is naturally a matter that uh, it shouldn't be surprising it's in front of the nation's highest court. I think the American public just wants to see government do what they're supposed to be doing, especially Congress, is show leadership. So how can you protect yourself? Kama says the most important thing is if you feel you're being scammed, immediately hang up the phone. The Skelton brothers haven't been seen since they went missing four years ago. I'm Lauren Adams in Alexandria, Virginia. Coming up, I'll tell you why what's happening here could help bring them home. You just got the first look at the Christmas decorations inside the White House. The First Lady says more than 65,000 people will visit this holiday season. None of us want to be able to see a mil militarized police force that's going out, but we certainly want to make sure that they have the equipment that they need to carry out their mission. Congressman, thanks so much for your time. Yeah. Reporting in Washington, Jacqueline Paul Castro, KKTV 11 News.